Wow, hello YouTube. So you join me in a top secret location in Essex. <laughs> I'm here with uh, Mr. Wolf. Uh, Hogan's here. Uh, and uh, this is a bit of a camp out. Um, don't want to bore you with um, where I've been at the moment or where what I've been doing, but um, uh, but we're here, we're out, we're on a camp out, come with us. Uh, my beautiful awning broke, I'll drop in a few pictures of how I fixed it, but very simply when I was at the prep and meet, the wind caught it when I was packing it up and slammed it right on the top of the vehicle. And um, I've had it out a couple of times since then and um, nothing really wrong with it, but today I had a catastrophic failure and went out into the woods, got... Um, so just the aluminium tube, I've just been into the woods, a couple of uh, pieces of uh, wood that I've cut down, they're going to fit in there a treat, I'm going to sort of hammer those home, put the two poles together and that is going to get me out of trouble for the next 24 hours while I'm out camping. Two of these got broke but this awning is going to be okay. Fine. So all we're going to do now is just bang it home from the other end. Hogan's already been fed, he's had uh, six chicken thighs, raw chicken is what he has. Um, I put it on a pan just to heat it through because uh, when I came out I grabbed it out of the freezer and it was still a bit frozen so I just warmed it through as opposed to cooked it. You can't give dogs cooked chicken because the bones become brittle and they fracture and that's why you can't give uh, dogs chicken bone. But raw, raw is absolutely fine. That's what so this is the evening meal really. I'll walk you around the new setup, um, some really big changes to the BOV since you saw it last and um, hope you find it entertaining. Uh, let's get into the nuts and bolts of it and get a bit of cooking done. So the first thing I'll talk about is this big long drawer. This, this drawer is five feet long, goes almost the complete length of the vehicle and in effect it's my kitchen. So I'll drop in some photographs of exactly how it kind of breaks down and slides away. But basically this is pots and pans, this is a kind of teapot, utensils, sink, all that sort of stuff. It's literally a drawer you pull out. It's got an adjustable tent pole on the end which is how it's kind of held up and um, really simple but that is in effect the kitchen. So the first big change you'll notice is that we are cooking with gas. All I've done, uh, this is the kind of camp oven, I've just put a bit of oil in the bottom and I'm just uh, frying off some sausages. I'm going to chop them up into sort of inch long uh, pieces and they're going to be a um, bit of a stew really. Sweet and sour, I've got some uh, chopped tomatoes, some rice, going to bang in some sardines, a bit of gravy, a bit of barbecue sauce and um, really that's going to be a kind of... Um, Let's, let's say, you know, stew in the field for want of a better term. But um, now I'm cooking with gas. I've got a um, gas bottle on the roof rack and um, that bottle tends to last me about three months, something like that. I do still carry the uh, dual fuel stove. Wouldn't leave home without it. It's an absolutely brilliant bit of kit. Um, and that's my kind of backup. And I've got... Um, uh, a litre of oil, of, of um, unleaded fuel in the drawer, and I've also got uh, five litres in a can, so a gallon. Um, but that's my kind of backup reserve system. But the uh, cooking with gas is a big step forward. Some uh, big changes to the BOV since you saw it last, but um, 
let's uh, let's fry these um, sausages off, warm them through, get them chopped up, and uh, get the rest of the ingredients in the meal so we can leave it to simmer. So all I'm going to do here, uh, I've um, cooked the sausages. All I'm going to do here is got a couple of rashers of bacon, and I'm just going to sort of dice these up and throw these in. Um, yeah, not getting too carried away. Just um, leave the fat on. Cooks in the fat, doesn't it? You know, so we sort of dice them up into half-inch sort of pieces. Really, going to go in with the pork sausages. So I'll put these back in that little bit of oil just to um, cook through, and uh, then we'll chop the sausages up and get it in a stew. So I've got six sausages here, which is kind of three each, but um, quite a lot, just sort of zipping them down into, you know, each, something like that, size pieces. I've got someone else coming tonight, so, um, you know, they've said they're going to eat before they arrive, but I'm going to do a bit of extra scoff just in case they decide to uh, tuck in. So this is always my secret weapon, it's just uh, sweet and sour sauce, but uh, I'm going to put that in now. Oh, it's starting to smell absolutely lovely. Next thing in is the old um, uh, chopped tomatoes and Uncle Ben's rock. Just a box of chopped tomatoes. Always my secret ingredient when I go out in the field. I've got lots of this um, Uncle Ben's rice in the fridge. Uh, so this one is golden vegetables, but they, they do a chili rice, uh, mixed, mixed vegetable rice, uh, the mushroom rice, yada, yada, yada. It's just an old faithful, so I always have half a dozen of these in the fridge. This is going in. This is kind of microwave, you know, kind of meals ready to eat, really. So this is, um, you know, cooked in two minutes. Brilliant um, ingredient just to pack something out. I'm not going to tell my guest, but this is another uh, top secret ingredient. So like it really do. doesn't matter which one you decide on. I've just picked uh, the co-op's own brand here, but this is a barbecue sauce. Just okay, gives all it a I've bit done is just thrown in so a packet of mixed vegetables. Thing. So I've got some cauliflower, some carrots. Uh, there was some broccoli, and um, just boshed it in. Going to uh, leave it to simmer now, and uh, that's pretty much going to be dinner. So this drawer is uh, two Bring foot six really. long. Um, takes up half of the bed inside and the storage underneath it is just pots and pans. I made a physical kind of lid for it because it becomes an additional work surface. So uh, as you can see I've got my chopping board there and bits and pieces. That drawer really is the camp oven. Okay ladies and, and gentlemen so here's the big change really. I've, I've turned the BOV into a camper. So. Um, my uh, desire really was to turn it into an inch truck so I'm never coming home. A truck that I could live out of and um, long term, you know. So what I've done is I've kitted it out with enough stores to get me a thousand miles. So bar stopping for, you know, replen of water, although water storage is up by five gallons. Um, Really, you know, if I stop for a pint of milk, I could probably get to Poland. Um, all I really need is to throw my additional fuel and water supply on the roof rack, which I haven't got with me today. But as you see it now, it would get me a minimum of 500 miles straight away. Um, food supply and all the resources in it would probably get me a thousand. So stew's coming on nicely. Uh, just dropped in some uh, gravy granules, just a bit of bisto, which is um, you know another little kind of teaspoon funnel on the top gives it a little bit of zing. But coming along that. nicely. This is my new sink, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's working quite well. But um, don't quote me. 
a little bit of washing up, you know, one or two people. All I do is sort of half, third fill it. Um, I've got the tap here if I want to rinse the plates off. And uh, really, really simple. But um, look at that, working quite well. Right, okay, so we um, did the sausages, we threw in a couple of rations of bacon, a bit of barbecue sauce, we had the Uncle Ben's rice, uh, mixed vegetables with uh, a bit of broccoli, cauliflower and carrots. In truth, they could have done with a little bit longer, but um, you know, beggars can't be choosers, it's still um, bursting with flavour. Uh, a couple of bread rolls and that is our evening meal. I don't think anybody's going to be disappointed. Bring in a little closer, you can have a little shot of it. But as far as I'm concerned, well, my guest, believe it or not, I said, how is it? And he said it was peachy. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I think that'll do.